Ah, oh, Poland presidential election 2020. That's what we're here to talk about today. The nationalists beat back the EU in battle of Poland election. So uh, a narrowly enough one election so, so as to produce charges of uh, legal legitimacy and whatnots took place in Poland. An election that stood for fundamentally divided faction across the European, even more broadly, of course, world divide. The division between the nationalists and the globalists, as the current year's terminology classifies such coalitions of people, and in this case, the, the nationalists beat back the globalists, but the win is in doubt. And, and I tell you what, what we're going to do is we're not going to actually start. We're not going to actually go to the excerpt first. We're going to go, and, and what we've done is we've done a search here for Polish presidential election 2020 Google News search results, and that's we're going to start from <coughs> the beginning. Now, the beginning is not necessarily the earliest article. It's the it's the order in which they've got it here. And I've got this little issue here. If you can't you can't really see this down here, <coughs> you got let me uh, let me shrinkify this so you can hmm, can't really still so okay whatever okay whatever so what you can't see it but there at the bottom it starts with. Uh, polls will vote on June 28th, an election that was delayed for weeks by coronavirus pandemic, Parliament Speaker said. <coughs> this is Al Jazeera's English. Let's see what they've said here. Oh, it just links to them in their search. Okay, so where's... Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go check out... <coughs> Poland has announced... June 28th, a new date uh, planning for the election had plunged Poland into political turmoil. Incumbent uh, Duda is the front runner, although his lead has shrunk in recent days and amid signs of economic contraction. One public opinion poll has suggested him losing to an opposition candidate in a second round of balloting to be held on July 12th if no one wins more than 50% of the votes. So. That's from Al Jazeera then. That was uh, <coughs> June 3rd. Then we have June 14th, uh, BBC. Polish President Andrzej uh, Duda has called the promotion of LGBT rights and ideology more destructive than communism in a campaign speech. So this is from the BBC. This is from June 14th. Polish President Andrzej Duda has called the promotion of LG. Okay, I read that. He is an ally of the ruling Nationalist Law and Justice Party and is seeking re-election on the 28th June. So let's see. <coughs> uh, speaking to supporters in Brzeg, southwestern Poland, Mr. Duda said, Parents are responsible for the sexual education of their children, and it's not possible for any institution to interfere in the way parents raise their children. On 10 June, he signed a family. Okay, I'm not going to read that. So let's see. One of his chief rivals, liberal Warsaw mayor, Rayer Tratskowski of the center-right civic platform party, has been criticized by religious conservatives for allowing discussion of LGBT issues in Warsaw schools. The election is likely to go to a second round runoff vote. <coughs> And let's see, rival candidates, okay, never mind. So they don't give any kind of <coughs> prediction there. And we go on up to, let's see, it's, uh, we go to the Guardians 2019, okay, just above that. Polish president scales down homophobic rhetoric, okay. What Poland's election could mean for the future of Europe. And this is, I believe, BBC. No, this is time. Okay, I got some issues there. I got to figure this out. It's not all matching up. So, <coughs> Poland's voters will head to the polls on June 28th to vote for their next president, a largely ceremonial position, but with crucial power to veto laws. If no candidate draws more than, okay. Uh, Poland's elections are coming down to a choice between the ruling party's increasing tilt towards autocracy or one that pursues democracy, says Piotr Buras, head of the Warsaw Office of the European Council on Foreign Relations. 
Okay, let me just say this. Okay, so so the what what it, I mean, there's that couching. So maybe the Law and Justice Party. I don't know how authoritarian it is. I think that not even having discussions about quote unquote LGBT issues in schools is uh, kind of uh, I don't know. I think there's, there's got to be some dialogue discourse. It's like everybody is it's it's either all this or all this and. In this situation, you have in on one side you have painting one side as being autocracy and one side democracy, and the one side that's democracy is not just democracy that they take with it. Maybe right now in Poland, I don't know what their the full dynamic, the socio economic, socio political, whatever their their cultural who who controls the signals? Is there a monopolistic control of the signal in Poland like there is in America? If there is, then it could very well be that the monopolistic control of the signal, you can't fight the signal. If the signal, and especially if the signal is one thing and it's a crafted thing that understands the power of language to construct things, like in this way where it's democracy versus autocracy, never mind that over here, the Law and Justice Party, there may be a number of issues that the Law and Justice Party is actually in favor of that if you were a human being with uh, a weakness and fragility, you would favor the Law and Justice Party's take on certain issues. I, w I, I don't know. I'm... I don't know enough about the Polish dynamic to know who's taken what vehicles of power as their own to represent which uh, consolidation, w which which coalition of power. Uh, I don't know enough about the Polish dynamic, but I I I, I guess I could figure out from 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 as near as I can tell they they've got the angels and demons language like er everyone else here, so. Here we are in a situation where even the the folks of the story it's about this is this somehow we if 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 you're for globalism and whatever that means whether it's positive or whatever uh, then you must side with whoever is running against this Polish dude if you're nationalism you I'm now never mind that the only stories that were told exist are between the fight with of socialism versus arena uh, nationalism versus globalism in, in all its various forms. <coughs> so we go up uh, a little bit here to, let's go up to June 28. Poland's clash of values in presidential election. Let's check this out. Alrighty then. This is also, this is the BBC as well. Now, this is all Google, by the way. I'm not picking these. So just so you know, this is Google News has decided these are the stories that it should focus on this highlights for for this search term right now this hot search term polls vote on sunday in a presidential ballot okay and let's see when president duda this month condemned okay the, so that's their big thing it's like it's the the uh i mean i don't know what he's talking about here i don't know I, I, the i don't know that he's I didn't hear him, so I don't want to defend him. He could very well literally be saying, as this, as they're put, put quoting it here, I am doubtful that they did, he did that. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet that he he probably said something to the effect of, I know, "Gosh, help God help me if I'm wrong, and if I am, shame on this dude." But I'm I'm willing to bet it was couched something in the line of, uh, we. What comes behind those LGBTQ rights is far more than LGBTQ rights. It's like there's a whole host of new ideological assumptions that we now have to make, and we have to make all these fundamental radical changes in our society to 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 help make one small segment of society. I don't know. I'm hoping it was something along that line because there's some argument to be made about, well, when you say LGBT whatever rights let's let's sit down and let's talk about let's talk about that because you don't exist in a void rights don't exist in a void so it's it's not just lgbtq whatever rights that matter and i don't know what poland is like as far as how they view rights or not but <coughs> so i am looking at my camera right now and i'm thinking why is my camera so out of focus you you need to stop that come on camera come on buddy do me a favor do me a favor and lock her in because we can do this. We can do this. All right. All right. 
All right, let's see if we can get this. Uh, this in. Uh, so anyway, while 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 I work on this uh, wonderful uh, <coughs> con confabulation here, um, my 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 fundamental point is once again here we're talking about we keep getting these these shrill conversations that point us in these these diametrically opposed camps, and they all have these menus of policies that they represent some of which you might actually approve of you know what it's it, it is what it is some of which you might have to actually approve of and and they put you in these categories where you have to side with policies that you really wouldn't approve of because the more important policies are on this side for whatever that is and i'm not sure that's what's going on in poland i don't know how many nuanced sophisticated conversations are going on but uh i will say that uh well here here's here's the the the, the general news for today the Polish President Andrzej Duda declared victory Monday in a runoff election in which he narrowly won a second five-year term. Acknowledging the campaign he ran was often too harsh as he appealed for unity and forgiveness. Oh my gosh, so he probably did run under the the shrill... Uh, I mean, there is threats and there are threats. And usually when you're demagoguing, you take a minor threat and you turn it into the end of the world threat. So maybe he, maybe he, maybe, maybe he really was that nasty with the whole LGBTQ thing. And that's, uh, oh, well, that dude sucks. Okay, so Poland's vote is a warning to America, too. The country's populist leaders have sought to weaken democracy, divide the electorate, and demonize minorities. You know, I, I would really hate to be, you know, I mean, Bloomberg is basically whatever. If, if this Polish dude really is like all this other stuff, I don't know. I'm not saying whether he is or isn't. They're, they want to pin that on to... Uh, a much wider range of folks than you imagine. It's not just conservatives that end up in that group, that so-called uh, <coughs> populist. There's a whole lot of progressive people that are in that group that they consider this, this hateful populist group. There's, prog there's progressives. <laughs> there's actual progressives. There's actual Green Party folks. There's there's a number of folks on the left as well as the right that qu that, that fit into this broadening category where once again bloomberg owned by mayor mayor i want your guns or else bloomberg that uh this is uh this is the world these people have created and there they go there it is the 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 effort continues and it's 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 the story told around the world in high-pitched terms the angels and demons stories that continue to force us into camps that maybe we really only like 20 percent but the 80 percent that we don't like maybe most of it doesn't really fundamentally hurt us and that's why we're with this group that's i mean often you i'm i'm i'm, I'm i i don't know i just, i wouldn't be surprised if it's a majority of time this is why you find yourself in the factions that you're in but on the main i gotta say from a pragmatic sense i'm i'm kind of happy that the dude won and now they go through the, the you've got people that are now claiming that uh, po Poland's opposition vowed to file protests over what it called large-scale irregularities in the country's pe presidential election. He won 51-some percent to 48-some percent. It was uh, less than 2 percent, something. Was it less than 3 percent, 2 point something percent, something like that? A very small margin, a small enough margin that... Even if there wasn't corruption, there could easily be claims of corruption. And if there was corruption, well, I don't know, but there's probably corruption probably everywhere. That's the nature of the beast these days. If you're not corruptioning, you're losing. You know, you don't cheat. Uh, you know, you haven't cheated until you get caught. Remember that. You haven't cheated until you get caught. So I think that's about all I want to say on this. I, uh, I'm, I'm pragmatically happy. All things being equal, there's a lot of it's a lot of stuff in their bucket that I'm not really happy about. I don't know about their whole take on how they view people that happen to not be of a particular. I mean, most of us are in that that 
that uh, male, female, heterosexual kind of dimension. But for those of us that aren't, man, like, you know, there's conversations to be had, but I don't know the Polish dimension. Uh, I just, okay, I won't speak more on that. But but still, all things being equal, the overall, well, the, 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 the forces that are behind the the and more embracing of the European Union in any nation state's life. These folks these folks got really, really bad intentions is the way I view them. So these folks I will say that if I had to choose the buckets of which would really like if I lived in Poland, unless I were to again, unless I were to find out these parties were something beyond what I would even imagine. Uh, all things being equal on the surface, I'm going to go with old D Duda here, uh, unless I was gay. And then it would be, what choice would you have? What choice would you have but to go for the other party? Because that, even if you don't like a lot of the stuff in their bucket, you got to go with it. Because, I mean, Duda is just like saying no negotiations. And that's what everybody's done throughout uh, throughout time no negotiations it's constant language of no negotiations very few people have bridging language and bridging deeds some bridging language but hardly ever also bridging deeds at any rate i think that's all i'll say on this i think it's uh for those of us that wish to see a consensual universe in the uh, emergent uh, reality I would say that this is probably, maybe, a good result. I'll say that. Probably, maybe, a good result. That's what I'll give it. That's what I'll give it. So this has been my story on Preco Talks and News for the Nationalist Beat Back the EU in Battle of Poland Election. And this is Poland Presidential Election 2020.